Hey, what's up guys? My name is Nort and welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe for more Grand Theft Auto V content and where have I been for the past week? Well, of course, you guys have been seeing some videos, but I know one or two of you have been picking up on the fact that I haven't had the Santa costume, I haven't had snow on the ground, and that nothing's been as festive where I have on, on my channel uh, than you've seen on other people's content on their channels. So, uh, I just want to say this now, I've been on holiday for a week, it's been an amazing holiday. If you go and click over to 0.5 Live, my second kind of vlogging channel in which I occasionally do an in real life video or vlog, and the first one is yet to come, which should be up in the next 24 hours or so. And that'll be the vlog of where I was, uh, just doing a nice little run through uh, of the complex we were at. And it was absolutely amazing. Like, it was awesome. So I just want to say thank you guys for staying. Thank you guys for enjoying the content. I had to be guys all week. Uh, but you may have noticed it's not been top notch. It's not been updated every single hour. It's actually just been content which not many people know about uh, and just the regular standard old content. But I'm going to make it up for you guys. I am now here for the whole week and I got some party games coming onto GTA 5 very very soon so please stay tuned for that so be sure to subscribe guys because of course I'm gonna be uploading plenty more content uh, just hours or even minutes after uh, the release of this uh, topic that I'm talking about uh, so make sure you do subscribe otherwise you will miss that but let's get into this video guys so like it says on the title I'm gonna be talking about a few topics which is something I haven't really done before and if I have then I don't do it a lot so uh, first off, we're going to be talking about an image which has been floating around the community quite a bit. Uh, now, I don't want to go and flatten all of those YouTubers who have been talking about this image, just because um, it's not their fault, and everyone makes a mistake, everyone thinks photoshopped images are real, and uh, they post out to their subscribers. Now, let's think of this as a mature view, guys. Um, you're probably not offended that this person accidentally posted out a fake Photoshop to you guys, so... This person is just as missed as anyone else would be, and everyone else who has claimed or thought this photoshopped image to be real uh, is just as missed as everyone else uh, around them. So please do not give any of them hate, just simply tell them why it's wrong, and uh, this is why I'm going to be talking about why the image is wrong. now. The image itself will be put in the description below. It's a Gaiazo link which will take you to a screenshot of the image. No downloads, no anything, just simply click the link and you will see the image. Okay, now you're, you're on the image, you will notice that this image will show pictures of classic planes. War planes, um, there's really cool planes which may come to GTA. Now first off when I saw this I was like, nah, this would not come to GTA, it's war planes, it's classic planes. Uh, and it doesn't really seem legit to why they would bring it out. Uh, but according to Reddit and everything, they pointed out a few things uh, about why this image is fake. Now, if you do look in the top right hand corner, first off, you will notice there are social media links, which is a big no to any multimedia company uh, putting out copyrighted logos to other businesses. So Facebook, you can go down the drain. Twitter, Google Plus, no, you want Life Invader. That is one massive mistake. They would not put any social media links apart from Life Invader or any other social media like Bleeter in the Grand Theft Auto 5. Also, you may notice this very, very minor difference which a lot of people haven't pointed out. And uh, my friend actually told me that the cursor was not in the image. Now, originally I thought, you know, that doesn't really make a difference. But when you do go on the online websites uh, on Grand Theft Auto 5, you will notice that everything has a cursor, uh, which is your analog stick, and there is no cursor in the image. So the image is 100% fake, so please do not expect any warplanes or anything coming into Grand Theft Auto 5, because you will not get them unless they release any confirmed information about new planes, which does seem reliable because new planes into Grand Theft Auto 5 um, would be amazing. They've got new cars, they're probably going to bring out new motorbikes, uh, they've got new weapons, uh, so I reckon they're going to bring, bring out new things from every category and genre in Grand Theft Auto 5, but just not yet, and they're definitely not warplanes, so that's that gone down the drain. Now let's get into topic number two, uh, and that is, uh, will there be GTA on the next gen, or even on PC? Now if we do take a look at this source, which will also be put in the description below, uh, one person posted out on Facebook uh, a chat between Amazon Helpline or something, and themselves. And the chat stated that they have some information on Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PC. But of course this information will not be confirmed till February, and no one will find out. 
Um, they further say in another chat, apparently according to this source, that they may have information on the next gen consoles in early January. Now of course the next gen is a little bit out of edge, it's not properly confirmed, uh, but they do reckon they may get some um, sources or evidence that it may be coming out on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, uh, which this evidence may appear in early January. Now, of course, this is Amazon. I couldn't imagine them lying or making up any BS because there is absolutely no goal in, or achievement in making up BS when you're already in a billion dollar company or something like that. Um, so, I really can't believe Amazon lying and the only thing which would be lying is the source itself but this source does prove screenshots from Amazon chat or helpline and a customer themselves so maybe just maybe we may be expecting news for the next gen consoles with GTA 5 in early January. But back onto the PC version we may be expecting imagine them releasing anything in the US first uh, but of course it's up to them um, that is just one kind of piece of evidence which makes me think this source is fake uh, but of course as screenshots and everything and uh, it makes me want to believe it but the fact that it has uh, the game coming out in the US first just makes me feel that it might not be uh, coming out reliable as it should be um, but of course this whole thing looks very reliable and stable and uh, we may be expecting GTA 5 on the next gen and PC very soon. Uh, now, I'm also going to go into a business prospect about why they may not tell us yet, uh, and that is because GTA 5 was released a month or two before the next gen consoles released. And I did this in a video a few weeks ago explaining about why they did not or may not explain uh, that it could be out on the next gen consoles very soon. Now, if you think about it, it came out, once I say, uh, one or two months before the next-gen consoles, meaning that if they did say they'll be releasing it for the next-gen consoles, people may not have bought the game for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 and other platforms it's on, meaning that they would not have made as much money as they should have uh, when they do sell the game. But if they don't say it'll be coming out on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, which is something they're really good at, they just don't say anything until like the day before or the week before or something, uh, then of course, people will think, no, nope, it's not going to come on the next gen, and if it does, then it won't be for a while, so I may as well buy it for the Xbox 360, not get the Xbox One, and get the Xbox One when it goes down in price. Now, that's kind of like the perspective from all my friends and loads of people in the community, which is a good perspective, because the Xbox One probably will go down in price, uh, and when it does, GTA 5 will hit the shelves for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4, uh, and they'll probably announce this like a week or two. Uh, before they do it, meaning that because you've already bought it for the Xbox 360 and you may have bought the Xbox One or PlayStation 4 on the price drops, uh, then you would have bought the game twice if you do get it for the next-gen consoles. Of course, this is a theory, guys. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, if you are new here, be sure to subscribe for more Grand Theft Auto 5 content. My name is Nort, and I enjoy doing these videos for you guys, so make sure you do go and leave a like as it really does help us out. If you have any more information, don't forget to comment that as well. I do hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.